Hello everyone, my name's King, and welcome to something a tad different. I'm trying to get back into making tutorials. Anyway, this is... Uh, that's a horrible introduction, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, this is a ruined chapel. It, so, yeah, it's a pretty big one. Um, trying to mix things up. Maybe it'll be okay, who knows. But anyway, uh, a ruin chapel is, well, it's a chapel that fell into ruin. I know it's very, very impressive way to describe that king, I know. But since it's a chapel, it is one giant structure. Chapels are usually meant to be very big, impressive buildings. Especially once they're ruined, they're still very big and impressive. That doesn't really change much, aside from some rubble here and there. So I, in general, uh, have to go about this a bit differently. Usually when I make a ruin, the plan is to make one complete structure and then destroy it. But considering this is such a huge size, we are going to have to go about this a bit differently and instead focus on main aspects. So, and I'm not going to tell you any like real dimensions but if, if you want I could do this and you just figure it out like that's 17 blocks and then this is what uh, 39 blocks it's, it's a very big build you don't have to build it this big it's just going to be a general understanding of what I'm doing uh, sorry if there's noise in the background I have a very loud fan today. That That's fine. Um, anyway, the way I'm going to be doing this is focusing on chunks. That's usually how I'm going, how I build large buildings. I just focus on the parts that are most necessary to get done right and then fill in the blanks and kind of improvise. So in my mind, a chapel the most important parts is going to be this front piece here. This is the most important part because it's the big thing with the giant stained glass window and it looks all impressive. And I do believe there's like a doorway or something, but I'll figure that out later. So that is most important. Then I'd say figuring out some kind of design for the sides, which is why it's like this because it does kind of jut out. It's more like the, the main structure kind of goes along this way and then everything else kind of sticks out a little bit. So that's going to have to be important to figure out the sides. And then the back's not as important and also the interior is not that important. And most of the sides isn't very important. I have created a bit of a dome here which is just three blocks, three blocks, then two blocks, then one, two, three, add diagonal, then two blocks, and then I just connect to the other side. It's not too, too difficult. You just do a little bit of a curve. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially since it's a ruin. It will not look perfect eventually. But I do want to emphasize this, so it's probably going to have some kind of design that is the side design but kind of improvised a little bit and in general the front is going to be the biggest peak and then I want the walls to kind of crumble down kind of in like a triangle shape like imagine this is the main wall I know it's a very beautiful uh, description of what the front is going to look like the side walls is just going to sort of collapse a little bit like so and then the back is just going to kind of be there and maybe it'll come back up a little bit so in general this is kind of the idea of how it's gonna act that's in my mind what makes sense to do for a, a ruined structure also, that way we don't have to worry about a roof, because a roof on something this big would be terrifying. Especially a ruined roof. 
because then you have to worry about physics and whatnot. But anyway, also side note, for this build I am using some extra stuffs. For one, I have Optifine installed, because why not? I also have some other stuff installed for general improvements of performance. I also have something that does this blur effect, that's always fun. That way you could focus more on what I'm doing and won't be distracted all the time. Also, I'm using a new texture pack. This is uh, Germsy Boy Vanilla Edits. You can just search Germsy Boy. He's a fantastic YouTuber. Subscribe to him if you haven't and check for his texture pack. He has a little taste for germ, which is what I used to use. And then he has Vanilla Edits, which is his newer texture pack. So I have that. I also have the, his Better Leaves add-on and his Wagon Wheel add-on. No real reason for the Wagon Wheels. I just like wheels. Wheels are fun. But anyway, that's all the plugging and stuff out of the way. I also have World, world Edit, but that that's just because this thing's big. But anyway. So... Now that I did a bunch of talking and you're probably all kinds of confused, now we are going to get down to specifics of what needs to be done in order to make a decent looking uh, chapel. So first off, we're going to focus on the front. This is what we'll worry about first. You can worry about the rest later, just make sure there's plenty of room and you'll be fine. So for the front, we are going to take this up a fairly high amount. And don't worry about it being cobblestone, you can texture it later like adding mossy cobblestone and regular stone bricks and stuff. I'll take it blah blah blah. I'll teach you how to do that at the end. It's nothing to worry about right now. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Just in case. Um, so just make yourself a nice big rectangle a vertical rectangle so just go long wise however long you want to go i prefer odd numbers this one i do believe is what uh 17 blocks long as you can see right here and then we're just going to bring it up i'm going to stack or er, slash stack let's say 21 blocks tall. Like that. That seems good. So as you can see, from down to up, 21 blocks. At which point I want it to be a peak. So I could just go from the center, which that's the center block. I'm just going to go down, or dig down two blocks until we hit the side. Like so. Nice and easy. Set air. And then destroy the rest. And the general idea is to just make it pointy. That That's all I'm really doing here. And then I'm going to go from the bottom. Grab that. Copy, flip, paste. There we go. That's not so bad. Wait a minute, I, I did that wrong, didn't I? I feel like I did that wrong. I might have did that wrong. Uh, eight blocks, so this one's in the middle, and I was all kinds of off. Yay! Time to fix this. Anyway, just the general idea, go the middle, bring the middle 21 blocks tall, and then just go two blocks down on each side and make a nice triangle, because triangles are fun. I do believe then that's two, that's two. And then make that air. 
Wonderful. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting rid of this fan. This fan's very annoying. Um, anyway, I'm going to tweak this, get rid of the fan probably, maybe, and then we shall be right back. The first official cut, right here. Alright, I'm back. So all I did was add a little bit of cobblestone, uh, wall, stair, uh, uh oh, oh no, I screwed it up. There we go. I just added cobblestone wall, stair, and iron uh, bar and just stacked that all the way up just to give a little bit extra detail and kind of that, uh, what's it called? It's like Victorian kind of gothic look a little bit. It's nothing major and it's nothing really special. Um, next we are going to figure out kind of detail facing and then I'll also figure out like a mini roof because there is a little bit of roofing that's gonna have to go on here and also because this looks a little bit standard so next find the center again and then break that block of let's say five blocks up so one two three four five and then three wide and then go down two and make it a little bit wider actually get rid of all of that so it's a nice arch um, I'm going to grab some stairs boom boom or no actually no uh, there yeah sure um, and then on the inside actually let me get rid of this because that's going to get annoying over in in time um, I'm going to grab spruce trap doors and uh, sh spruce door as well that way I could just create a nice simple uh, doorway actually those two and the trick here is to just cover the whole entire thing. I don't need those. And you just cover the entire door with the spruce trapdoor stuff. Like so. Those doors are, are annoying. They should be going the, like that. There we go. And there we go. Nice, simple spruce door. And then next, right on top of it, we will get started making the big... Okay, gotta connect the fan again. This is complicated. Bear with me. Um, next... We're going to be building the big stained glass window. So just going one block from the door and one block extra on both sides, break out a little area, then go up, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, or hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks tall, then go in one, then three, uh, Actually, no. Let's go nine blocks tall, then in one, then three. Something like that. Just a nice big arch. And then that, and then set air. No, don't say set air. Just slash. Nope. Sla set air. There we go. Okay. And now we have a nice big window. And then when doing the window is actually kind of important to get right. Um, because you could just go sh 
uh, stained glass panes or blocks but it's also kind of important to get a color an interesting color even so I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go a mixture of uh, these four colors here. Magenta, purple, light blue, and cyan. I'm going to use those and create some kind of pattern here. So uh, I'll be right back with that, and then we could focus on making this all destroyed and decrepit and looking kind of ruined-y, and then we'll get on to the next side. So I'll be right back. To those men who are going into the hottest spots... Alright, so I went ahead, uh, did a stained glass window just to some kind of diamond or something in colors I I don't know we'll be tearing it up later so it's fine I also went ahead add a little bit of roof it's nothing major it's just a half slab roof going up and down made at an angle so that the wall would not get in the way of the stained glass window I then kind of just stepped it down in the two block fashion, put some upside down stairs, made it an andesite because I feel like andesite's slightly different than the cobblestone and so once we texture everything it'll still look slightly different even though it's the same material. I think it gives it a very unique vibe. It looks like a regular square roof thing but also not really and once we tear it up and stuff it'll look, it'll look all right. Um, I also, well, that that's all I did. But next, we're going to just nudge this over a little bit, build this outcrop thing, just a little bit of it, just like the beginnings, to sort of get the vibe of what the front will look like. Then we'll destroy it and stuff, and it'll be okay. So I think down here... I want to sort of blend it in a little bit, sort of turn it into more uh, cobblestone-y, so something like that. Just enough to sort of get the general idea, Oop, hold on, let me grab a cobblestone stair, just so the wall here is still cobblestone but it sort of fades into andesite for the side. Same thing here. Not that it matters on this side because we're going to just be straight up uh, texturing it later. But feels a little important to maybe just throw a little bit here and there. Uh, let's see, something like that. That looks good and it doesn't mess with the overall design a little or too much so that's what we'll go with and that allows us to just this will just be a wall so more of this weird roofing thing speaking of might as well grab from there to up here stack one. There we go. Actually, no. Stack two. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, actually, fix this a little bit. Just so it blends in a little better. Um, yeah, there we go. That's good. Now I can connect this without it being weird. 
So I think for the these extra bits on the side, I think I'm going to go for a more open design. So something actually bring it up a little bit. And then start creating like an arch, go five blocks up, or actually no, one, two, three, four, uh, how do I want to do this? Let's say something like that, and then two, and then two, and then two, and then just connect it there. Something like that. Actually, no. I want to bring it down a little bit. So something more like that'll do. So from that roof, go down two blocks over, two blocks over, two blocks over, then down, and then at least two blocks tall, make a little curvy thing. And then using stairs, we can make this look a little better. Something like that, maybe. And then on the underside here, like that. And actually on the overside, I want to make it two blocks tall. So it will kind of stick up a little bit, but that's okay. It'll be like ridges, it'll be cool. Um, hold on. Something like that. Does that look any better? Not really. Uh, I think it's going to have to stick out a little bit more. Like, like that. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. That'll work. and actually stick it inside a little bit, maybe. And then, let, let's see, so it'd be there. So that be like that. There we go. Found the winning picture. That works, I think. So that's what we'll go with, and then we'll do the same on the other side. And then there's also going to be one, two, three blocks in between, or something. Hold on, let me grab it. Ah, uh, and then copy, paste. There we go. That way we have something to work with. And in fact, this little ridge thing, I'm keeping that too. It's just supposed to be like an extra angled thing that is kind of like a support structure. That sort of looks very weird, fantasy-ish, but it works. Um, yeah, that'll do. And in fact, I believe I could just take the andesite, build that up inside here. Something like this. Yeah, there we go. And another piece of cobblestone right there. Then the rest, and a site all the way up. Up till the slabs, put the slabs down. There we go. Just continuing the wall a little bit. In fact, let's say there's supposed to be a window here or something. Something like that. No, a little bit taller, like that. Replace air with, let's say, light gray stained glass. 
There we go. That's a thing. So, I'll probably copy this on the other side now that I think about it, but... Ah, no. Copy. Flip. Paste. So we have it on the other side. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit of it on the other side. Uh, almost filled in with the rough sketching stuffs. Okay, there we go. Next is to ruin this. So, in order to do that, on this side I'm going to destroy one of these column thingies, make it kind of collapse. I'm also going to take out a bit of the inside of this and destroy the window a little bit. And then also probably just take out chunks here and there. So, uh, it's... yeah, it's simple as that. I'm gonna destroy this thing for the most part. Still leave a little bit there because, you know, it's crumbling it entirely would be kind of uh, opposite of what we want this to achieve. So just crumbling a little bit like that seems okay. Add a bunch of rubble around the bottom. Some in this little area. Like that. There we go. Some stairs here and there. And boom, boom, boom. Maybe that. And there we go. So that side is destroyed. Also, this window. Just completely get rid of the window. No point in having a window at all. Like, ever, really. And that also means a bunch of this is destroyed and collapsed and whatnot. I'm also going to replace what's left of the window with panes, because that feels less structurally, structurally sound. Also, get rid of a little bit up at the top, just so there was a bit of a window, and doesn't seem like it was completely and utterly destroyed. So that side's done. This side I'm going to leave how it is, um, but this side of the roof I'm going to destroy bits of, and throw cobble in its place like so. And then this window! Get rid of the window! Just huge chunk out. Circular-ish. Sort of broken. Little bits here and there. Probably a bit of the wall in its place. Maybe a bit of this wall too. Some here. Just Go ham on it. Just destroy whatever seems natural to destroy. I'm also going to grab panes of, let's see, light blue, just to sort of bring across the idea that this was more or less still intact. I'm also going to grab some purple here and there just to sort of add to the idea that that is legitimately broken like so next so that that's more or less the, the front of the building done we don't have to worry about the front anymore in fact I'm leaving that in there uh, actually again destroy this window. It's very important that windows get destroyed. Uh, like so... 
except like there. There we go. Most of the window's still intact, but it's more or less destroyed. Okay, next. Next job. Uh, actually, I'm going to... That way it seems like there was at least a little bit of this still left. I'm going to just break bits here and there. like so, and in fact add a little bit of rubble down here, like that, just sort of a little bit, not a lot, just enough to get the idea across that it kind of collapsed, and the roof collapsed in on itself as well. Okay. Hold on, uh, gotta make sure it's more curved a little bit, I guess. Um, next is along the side here of the things. Basically, I'm going to take this, copy it over, and destroy bits of it going down. I'm going to stop at around here-ish at, say, that height. No, that height, which is about six blocks off the ground. So it's fairly tall, but it is noticeably short for something that should be pretty tall and impressive. So I'm going to do that, copy it down, and we'll be right back again. I hope it will help you to do a better job. All right, so there we go. I went ahead and destroyed it completely all the way down to roughly six blocks tall. Uh, that's actually four blocks, my bad. It's six blocks when the thing was up there, but anyway, so I did that and I copied it to the other side. Ideally, it would be two completely different uh, patterns of how it's destroyed for both sides, but you know, rushing things, it's not that bad. Um, I also added a little bit of rubble on the inside, just so it's more rounded and it feels like it kind of flowed in a little bit. It's nothing major, but it does its job. Next is to do this out outer bit, and I think for this, I, I think I'm just going to kind of make it like a cobblestone wall. Like, since it's collapsed so much, might as well leave this as nothing. So it's big, impactful front cathedral stained glass window, and then it just kind of starts falling apart and keeps getting f less and less put together until you get to the back where there's practically nothing. So for this, I'm going to more or less just here and there add a little bit, I think, near the front over here. It's going to build up a little bit and then sort of fall back down and then build up a little here and there. Nothing too, too major, just little bits here and there of potential structure. Back here, it's going to build up quite a bit, I do believe, something like this. There we go. And then here, just a little bit, and then back down to the ground. I'm actually going to turn that back to grass. That way it's easier for it to kind of disappear, get out of the way. Um, some of this will be stairs here and there, just so there's a little bit to it. There's a stair, there, stair, say stair there, maybe one here, one there. Something like that. There we go. That's all right. And then just throw a little bit of rubble here and there around the back. Nothing too, too major. Just a little bit. 
Same thing on the inside, just throw some here and there, need, where need be. Mainly where it starts to build up. That's usually where you have to worry about it the most to look natural. Because that's where most of it would have coll collected. Uh, not a lot needed here. Maybe just a little bit around here, around these like 90 degree corners. Just to make sure it kind of just flows correctly. Something like that is all right. And uh, yeah, there we go. It's not that bad actually. Next is to uh, do all texture work. There's already a little bit of texture work, but when I mean texture work, I mean turn the cobblestone into more interesting materials to look at. Then throw in a little bit of overgrowth, and we'll call it a day. So, first off, I'm going to go from here, so it's at the lowest possible level, to all the way over here at the highest possible level. Like so. We're gonna do a little bit of texture work. So, replace the cobblestone with regular stone. Uh, hold on, comma. Some cobblestone, obviously. Uh, mossy stone bricks. Mossy cobblestone, and let's see how that looks. That looks all right. I'm I'm okay with that. That that's okay. At the very least, it looks interesting, more so than normal. Um. Yeah, actually, that'll work. So just make it very mossy and overgrown and bunch of different textures and stuff and confusing things. Um. Next up is to make it overgrown. So in order to do that, uh, in general, I'm just going to take the inside of this place and make it slightly more interesting. Doing that means going here replace grass with or grass block I mean with of course uh, grass block grass block let's say grass path and gravel there we go, that's looking good. Maybe just a tiny bit more. Like... Here. Just to make it a little bit more interesting inside. And then also, so that there's a little bit of like a pathway. I'm going to replace the most of the grass blocks in here with grass path in the center. grass path, grass path, and then a regular grass block, just so there's a little bit more. Actually, that's not enough grass paths. There we go. That's a little better, just so there's a little bit.
Just a little bit here and there. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Next up is to throw some trees everywhere. I'm just gonna do regular vanilla trees, but it's better to do uh, custom trees. Only reason why I'm not doing them is they take a while to make. And regular trees sometimes get the job done. The idea is to put it inside the um, the cathedral, just here and there. Also, just throw regular like grass and stuff too. That usually gets the job done, makes it look very pretty and overgrown and whatnot. Especially in the corners. Corners is essential for making things look overgrown. If you do it in the corners, then Sora just gives it that kind of vibe of, oh, it's very overgrown, wow. Uh, let's see, a little bit around here, some up inside here, ah, that's a tree. Ooh, that's a nice big tree, that's, that's good, that's what I'm aiming for. I don't think I can get any more trees inside. I'm going to aim for some trees on the outside a little bit. I wonder if I could get a tree right there. And it's a little squished, but it'll work. Aim around here, add a tree here. I don't need a lot of trees, just a little bit to get the idea across that this thing is much more overgrown than it should be. That's not gonna work. Maybe here. No, nope. in the center is the best bet. Okay, not in this spot. Let's say here then. No, okay. It's kind of hard to get trees. There we go. Ooh, this one's nice and barren. Tree time. Please. Tree time. Tree. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's a little squished. But there we go. That's a good way of doing that. Next is to create some vines. So the way I do vines is I don't use the regular vine block. Instead, I sort of just drape leaves here and there and kind of just in a semi-straight line. Kind of just curve a little bit, just here and there, over some walls and stuff, up in nooks and crannies and back down. You don't need to do a lot of this because it's not so particularly overgrown that it would need it, but a little bit here and there is pretty good. Having it go from inside to outside is actually really fun to do because then it kind of makes everything feel kind of connected in a way. Like having it go through here and then back out through here and then it goes down a bit and then uh, actually that that's as far as that could go. I, I kind of screwed myself over there. Uh, over in here and then I have to go through the door sadly but then it comes back out like that and it's like wow it's so connected it looks so cool definitely want to build that thing um anyway there we go nice and done with some trees everywhere and some stuff and then you can add stuff on the inside add some lore bits maybe or add some dungeons etc etc whatever you feel like doing and anyway that is the Ruin Chapel. Apologies, since there's no like specific numbers and things to worry on and do, and there's like no actual dimensions or block for block stuff, but that's usually how it goes when you build ruins. You kind of have to just improvise. 
and make things natural-ish. And when thing, in order to make things natural, we kind of just have to do things at random and just break stuff and look at it again. But uh, yeah, there's our ruined chapel. I hope you guys enjoy. It's uh, actually it's better to look at from this side. Actually, it it was it was a lot of fun to do. It's definitely a bit unique. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I've been King. I'll see you guys later. I bow down upon thy holy compost, on hopes that one day this, uh, very very cool, and impressive, tutorial build, will one day return to its former glory. I shall subscribe, like, and ring thy bell, a uh, bell, bell, uh. Yeah, bell, bell, bell. R it, uh, it, uh, it, Ring thy bell, so that I may receive your blessing. Your very smelly, smelly bless. Uh, just ring, ring, ring the bell. Just do, 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 do. No, the the compost. No.